I like my uh, job because I get to combine a lot of my different interests and a lot of the different things that I studied in school. So officially, I got degrees in math and computer engineering, uh, undergraduate from the University of Michigan, and then I got a PhD in computer science from the University of California at Berkeley. Uh, and these became useful because I did them in the context of some other interests, which included photography. I did a lot of photography in high school. Uh, and I got my first computer when I was, you know, 10 or 11 years old, Commodore 64. I did a lot of programming on that. And I was always using it to try to make images digitally. So I've done that for, since a pretty young age. I run a, a small research group at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles, uh, and we do uh, research in the area of computer graphics. So I love computer graphics, and I like in particular that it's part of the mission of our institute to collaborate with the entertainment industry to try to create better technologies for virtual reality and computer graphics in particular. So uh, sometimes we get an email from a production like Oblivion that they would like to work with us to create a digital model of Tom Cruise. So we talk to them about which of our technologies could be useful and then at some point if there's a good match then Tom Cruise comes to our laboratory and we get to work with him for the day, uh, which is fun. And uh, then we uh, get to see how the data and the models we can produce can then turn into something that we see up there on the movie screen, and that's pretty exciting. I think something that's helped me in my career a lot is that I've, I've, I've often been just driven by some kind of you know, vision that I want to accomplish, something that I want to see on the computer screen that I know that nobody's ever seen before. So when I was doing my uh, PhD thesis at UC Berkeley, uh, I had this vision that I wanted to fly around buildings, that I wanted to fly around the uh, interesting Gothic building where I went to high school, and that I wanted to fly around the Berkeley campus. So I ended up creating software and inventing some techniques that allowed me to take photographs of a scene and then reconstruct its geometry three-dimensionally and then take the photographs and project them back onto the geometry so that you can then fly around this texture mapped world. Uh, nowadays, if you go to Apple Maps on your iPhone and you, you press the 3D button, you can almost do this now. And some of those techniques actually can be traced back to the work I was doing you know, almost 20 years ago now at this point. At the time, when we first flew around the Berkeley campus, there's a Campanile Tower that's uh, uh, based on the Campanile in Piazza San Marco in uh, Venezia. And um, ours is a little bit taller. Um, and uh, we were flying around, it looked like real photography, it looked like a tiny helicopter must have gone and shot this. And that was always such a rush to see something that we knew we created, but it also looked so realistic. So I've been driven by that, and that's always gotten me into interesting places.